What if your memory lapses, scattered focus, and mental fatigue aren't random at all, but a sign your brain's energy systems are running low? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're unpacking new data showing a sharp rise in cognitive challenges among younger adults, and more importantly, what you can do to restore clarity by addressing root metabolic and lifestyle factors. I'm Alara Sky. The trend is clear. Younger Americans are reporting more difficulty concentrating, remembering, and making decisions. The strongest jumps began after 2016 and continued through 2023. This is happening across income and education levels, which tells you the drivers are broad. Diet, sleep disruption, chronic stress, environmental exposures, and nonstop digital stimulation. The study behind this used more than 4.5 million survey responses to track cognitive disability, meaning serious difficulties with focus, memory, or decision-making. Younger adults, ages 18 to 39, saw rates nearly double. In contrast, adults over 70 had a slight decrease, which signals a generational shift. If you felt foggier despite being in your supposed prime, the data say you are not alone. That shift lines up with metabolic and vascular burdens showing up earlier in life. High blood pressure, diabetes, and a history of stroke were strongly linked with cognitive difficulty. These conditions impair blood flow, oxygen delivery, and mitochondrial function. When energy production falters, you feel it as brain fog, slower recall, and mental fatigue, long before a formal diagnosis. Socioeconomic patterns add another layer. People with lower income or less formal education reported higher rates. But even high-income young adults saw meaningful increases. The picture points to shared exposures, ultra-processed food, seed oils, poor sleep, and persistent stress. Awareness is rising, but prevention lags. You turn the tide by rebuilding energy at the cellular level and reducing daily stressors. Your first lever is metabolic repair. Your brain is glucose-hungry and underfueling or dysfunctional fuel handling will dull your focus. A clear starting point from the article is to eat enough high-quality carbohydrates, around 250 grams per day for most adults, to support cognition. If your gut is sensitive, begin with easy-to-digest choices like fruit and white rice and expand gradually as tolerance improves. The next lever is removing metabolic and environmental toxins that inflame the brain. Industrial seed oils high in linoleic acid, soy, corn, canola, sunflower, safflower, disrupt mitochondrial energy production. Replace them with saturated options specifically named in the article, tallow, ghee, and grass-fed butter. Filter your drinking water and choose minimally processed foods to lower exposure to heavy metals and microplastics that drive oxidative stress. Addressing iron is another explicit step. Excess iron can accumulate in tissues, fuel oxidative stress, and impair neuronal health. Avoid unnecessary iron supplements, limit iron-fortified processed foods, and consider donating blood periodically if your levels run high. Reducing surplus iron lowers inflammatory pressure on your brain's energy systems. Gut repair is central to cognitive recovery. When your gut barrier is irritated, endotoxins slip into the bloodstream and reach your brain, triggering fatigue and fog. Start gently. Fruit and white rice if symptoms are active, then layer in more fibrous foods once your gut settles. To nourish beneficial microbes like Ackermansia mucinophila, include pectin-rich options such as apples and cranberries. As your gut produces more short-chain fatty acids like butyrate, systemic inflammation eases and mental clarity improves. Your daily rhythm is a biological lever you control. Morning sunlight on your skin and eyes anchors your circadian clock, helping melatonin rise at night and stabilizing sleep. If your stress feels unrelenting, Rhythmic breathing and moderate intensity walking are practical ways to lower cortisol. Magnesium supports relaxation while aiding ATP production, the currency your neurons need for steady focus. Digital and sensory load matters more than it seems. 
Continuous notifications and late-night bright screens keep your nervous system in a simmering alarm state. Create tech-free windows with a strong line in the sand by sunset and target at least one hour of natural sunlight daily. Use short movement breaks, stand, stretch, step outside to reset attention and prevent the mental drift that comes from static screen time. Behavior choices show up in the data too. Smoking was associated with the highest prevalence of cognitive disability and rose notably over the decade examined. If you smoke, quitting becomes a direct, evidence-aligned action for protecting your brain. Pair that with steady sleep, consistent morning light, and stress management, and you give your cognition room to recover. Socioeconomic stress compounds biology. Chronic financial or social strain raises cortisol, disrupts sleep cycles, and blunts neuroplasticity. You may not control every stressor, but you can build recovery habits that buffer the load. Earlier light exposure, scheduled walks, deliberate breathing sessions, and a consistent bedtime. These daily anchors restore the bandwidth needed for memory and concentration. Pull these pieces into a simple personal plan. Fuel adequately with the stated carbohydrate target. Remove seed oils and use tallow, ghee, and grass-fed butter. Filter water and minimize processed inputs. Steer clear of unnecessary iron and donate blood if levels run high. Start gut repair with fruit and white rice, then reintroduce fiber with apples and cranberries. Set your mornings with sunlight. Add walking, breathing, and magnesium, and enforce device off periods, especially after sunset. None of this assumes decline is inevitable. The study's trends are a warning, not a sentence. When you restore energy flow, improve blood vessel health, and lower inflammatory inputs, focus and memory can rebound at any age. Your brain responds quickly to consistent signals of safety, rest, and steady fuel. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, replace all seed oils in your meals with tallow, ghee, or grass-fed butter. Get direct morning sunlight daily, and create a strict device off window after sunset. If your gut is irritated, start with fruit and white rice before adding more fiber, and include apples or cranberries by week's end. Track your focus, and recall at the same time each day so you can see the shift. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.